Welcome. This is Annuity News Now. Fixed indexed and income annuities broke sales records in 2010. According to the Beacon Research Fixed Annuity Premium Study, annual indexed annuity results climbed 6% to an estimated $31.5 billion. Income annuity sales grew 2% to $8 billion. Each product type also claimed its largest share of sales in the study's eight-year history, 48% for indexed and 11% for income annuities. Uh, the Fed reports that U.S. consumer borrowing increased for a fourth straight month in January, led by a gain in non-revolving loans such as those for automobiles and education. The $5 billion rise in credit followed a revised $4.09 billion gain in December that was less than the previous estimate. The pickup in non-revolving credit signals Americans may be growing more confident about their financial situations to purchase big-ticket goods such as General Motors Company automobiles. The expansion may get a bigger lift from consumer spending, which accounts for about 70 percent of the economy as the unemployment rate keeps falling. Speaking of the jobless rate, it unexpectedly fell to 8.9 percent in February, the lowest in almost two years, and employers added 192,000 jobs in a sign of growing confidence in the recovery. The increase in payrolls partly reflected a return to more seasonable weather and followed a 63,000 gain in January, according to the Labor Department. One of the most challenging aspects of retiring today is fully comprehending how long this period of your life could be. The implications are often profound and frightening. So what length of time should you plan for? According to the Society of Actuaries, if you are age 65 and male, you have a one in four chance of living to age 92. The same odds for females put you at 94. Thus, at the very least, you should expect your savings to cover a 30-year retirement. This explains why many are choosing to delay retirement by several years. Uh, the good news here is we're living longer. Some are taking that into consideration when retirement planning, but it's a slow learning curve for many others. Inflation and long-term medical care are considerations that often slip through the cracks. For more, visit annuitynewsnow.com. I'm Scott Drake. Thanks for watching.